this is. Jaden Iverson. We are at KGA to interview some kids about their natural disaster product. Here is the team of the Hurricanes. Oh, hello. Oh. Are you here to interview us on our report on hurricanes? Yes. So that you're the worst? Yes, we are. Um, first question, how are you defining worst? Well, hurricanes are the worst because they're the costliest and the deadliest. So we're pretty much trying to define them by that. Okay, that makes sense. And why is your disaster the worst? Why is it worse than other natural disasters? Well, the Hurricane Katrina was the most costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. It cost $180 billion in damages. And also the Galveston Hurricane, it killed 6,000 to 12,000 people. That is a lot of people dead, and that's, very, that's a lot of money. Uh, what are the characteristics of this disaster as defined by the experts? Oh, why are the what are the characteristics of the disaster as defined by the experts? Well, the um, experts say that a hurricane can be categorized from a tropical depression all the way to a Category Five hurricane. Tropical depression is pretty much like a miniature tropical um, storm, but as it gets higher up, in winds it becomes a hurricane. And also, some of the characteristics are wind, rain, storm surges, tornadoes, light, and lightning. Okay, what are the stories and myths uh, that culture is used to explain this, these type of disasters? Well, hurricane, actually, the word hurricane actually originated from a myth because uh, it was based off the, the Mayan god Hurricane. He was the god of wind and storm, so he brought all the hurricanes. Cool, sounds like the Lamborghini Hurricane. Anyways, what are the ways this type of disaster is classified, measured, categorized, or... Or magnitude. Uh, this hurt. Oh, so, so this disaster of hurricanes are classified in, in categories one to five, and then also before one, it's tropical storm and tropical depression. So first, the hurricane starts starts up over the ocean, and it's not really named as a hurricane yet because it's first it's too slow to because the, the wind speeds aren't fast enough to like fifty four miles per hour, so that is classified as uh, as a tropical depression. As it gets faster and faster, it becomes um, a category one, two, and then all the way up to five, which can get uh, wind speeds up to 100 miles per hour. Cool. I've also heard there's a uh, post-tropical. Can you explain to me what that is? Oh, excuse me? Post-tropical. Can you explain to me what that is? Well, post-tropical is pretty much like, you know what post means? That means before. They're still have pretty much, we don't know for sure, but it does mean that, um, we're pretty sure it means that it's before a tropical depression. And also, here's a fun fact. Once it gets up to 74 miles per hour and higher, it's a hurricane. But also, Hurricane Sandy was higher than a Category 5. That is true. And where, do you go, where and when does this type of disaster occur? Pretty much on any Atlantic coast, the Gulf of Mexico, and around the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. And what are causes and effects of this type of disaster? Well, hurricanes are are made um, when warm ocean water um, causes the air around it to become less closely packed. And this air wants to stay away from the more closely packed air that's near it, so it rises to the top. Well, and as the air moves, that makes wind. And when the warm, moist air on the top becomes the clouds of a hurricane. Cool. And how are humans, animals, and plants impacted by this type of disaster today and in the past? Um, well, plants and animals are, um, <clears throat> they get affected by this because her the hurricane comes in, all their homes get destroyed the same as us, and the, all their food gets wiped out as trees and berries and whatnot just gets absolutely washed out and many things die. Is that all the questions you have for us today? Well, also, um, but we have a couple more. Um, how do humans, animals, plants track, track? How do humans, animals, and plants track, predict, and communicate, warn, or avoid these disasters? Well, hurricanes can be tracked by satellites, which, which watch the, the small storms form into large storms as they go inland. And they, can, and they can also be noticed by some other strange ways, too. Like, if a cow keeps its tail upright, or if a sparrow hides in the hedges and a hurricane's coming. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, got it. How many did we get? Uh, we have